Playoff positioning at stake in the Eastern Conference and Roy Lassiter sounds off on Chris Wondolowski next on The Daily. Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Nick Fershaw, sensible Oxford shirt day here at MLSsoccer.com. Looking forward to the biggest headlines this weekend. Starting the Eastern Conference, Chicago and DC in a battle for playoff positioning on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network live chat on MLSsoccer.com. These teams in the two, three slots. DC looking to hold on to that number two. Chicago looking to take it away. Yeah, a lot can change in the Eastern Conference. In fact, only Sporting Kansas City is locked in, but these two really have their eye on that number two. As you said, you get that home field advantage at least in the initial playoff round and you avoid the bye. Of course, Chicago and DC, the big storyline from this one outside of playoff seating, rookie of the year race, Austin Berry for Chicago, the prohibitive favorite right now. But Nick DeLeon, if he had a big game and far from it, if he took Austin Berry to task in this one, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, he might have a chance to sway voters' minds. But either way, a lot on the line for both these Eastern Conference rivals. Good to see two uh, MLS old-time franchises going at it. Again, DC United and the Chicago Fire, 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday on the NBC Sports Network with a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. Next up, an I-95 rivalry for the New York Red Bulls. They're at the Philadelphia Union on Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC. Live chat on MLSsoccer.com. Look, they've got some playoff positioning at stake here, too. If they win, they can move up the chart. And then that Houston Dynamo game later in the evening, 9 p.m. Eastern at the Colorado Rapids, might not matter so much. No, might not. Houston, if New York wins, they're going to be in that knockout game for sure. It's just a matter of whether or not they would host that one. As far as New York goes, Tierra Henry said some interesting things yesterday about maybe it wouldn't be so bad to be yeah. in the knockout round. I'm not buying that one. I think you have to avoid that game if you can. New York will be desperate to get those three points if they can get them. If Thierry Henry shows up, we've seen lately that it's not always 100% from him when it comes to form. I think they're easily up into one of those two spots, assuming either Chicago or, or uh, D.C. stumble. Again, uh, the New York Red Bulls at the Philadelphia Union, 1.30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. A live chat on MLSsoccer.com, and it's on NBC. Last but not least, uh, maybe the biggest headline of the weekend out at Jeldwen Field in Portland on Saturday afternoon. The Portland Timbers at home against the San Jose Earthquakes and Chris Wondolowski sitting on 26 goals going into the regular season finale. Needs one to tie Roy Laster's mark and two to break it. Can he do it? That's the question. Well, I don't think he'll do it personally. That small field important, and they're certainly going to have some pride on the line in that one. But uh, we talked to Roy Laster yesterday on Extra Time Radio. All the lead up to this had been portraying him kind of as a cheerleader, a guy yeah. saying, hey, Wanda, go get this thing, break the record. I'm not sure that that's actually the case after talking to him. Now, he's not going to have champagne on ice should his record stick, but he did say, look, I'm hoping to keep hold of this thing. I hope, uh, hope Wando has a great game, but I hope he's very cold in that six-yard box. So we'll have to wait and see. Of course, Chris, he's the guy at the end of seasons that gets hot. So if anybody's going to do it with one game, it's going to be Wando. Lasseter will be up at that game at Gerald Wenfield. You can catch it at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. Live chat on MLSsoccer.com. For all the postseason coverage, log on to MLSsoccer.com. You mentioned the latest edition of Extra Time Radio. Came out on iTunes, Buzzsprout, and Stitcher Radio. That does it for us. Enjoy the weekend.